Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to your short little micro lecture series on structure equation modeling. My name is Luana Fonsell, and today's lecture will be all about how do we compare different measurement models with one another. So we have a theory that we tested, and we want to kind of like see which theoretical permutation of our model um, fits our data the best. Okay, remember, structure equation modeling is in essence, hypothesis testing. So we have to have a very strong theoretical argument for things that we do. So let's say we want to test and compare these two models. So the theory tells us that um, first environment fit predicts happiness and happiness predicts performance. And first environment fit is made up of three factors. Person organization fit, does the person match the organization's culture? Need supply fit, is the organization, uh, is the individual's needs like uh, compensated for with the resources that he have, and is the demands that he's being placed, does he have the ability to cope with it? Happiness is a two-factor model that's made up of engagement and meaning, and then it predicts task performance. Model two is everything is just a one-factor model. Okay, so these are the two factors that we want to go and compare the two models. Again, you are very well aware of this. We have, um, we look at modification, uh, modification model fit indices, and we look at the measurement quality to figure out which model is the best and also how to utilize it to compare it with one another. So we look at chi-square, as you would know, chi-square is model misfit. We want the smallest amount of chi-square and we want it to be um, non-significant. But if we want differences between two models, we want the difference to be significant, okay? Right? Um, all of these criteria you kind of like know, but I'll just be focusing on each one of these things as we go along. Um, it needs to be between, RMCO needs to be between 0 0.01 and 0 0.8. Anything higher, not good. Confidence interval needs to not include zero. SRMR, smaller than 0 0.8. Comparative fit indices, bigger than 0 0.9. PLI, 0 0.9, bigger than 0 0.9. And our other factors, so our AIC, our BAC values, we always look at the one that has the lowest value. So the lowest value gives you the indicator of good fit. Um, and the same criteria as last time. Um, we want our standardized loadings to be bigger than 0 0.4. They all need to be significant. Residual variances need to be as close as possible to zero. And our questionnaires needs to be reliable. Okay, easy. So these are two models that we've tested. Here are the results. Okay, um, now I want you to, to you tell me, what do you think is the best fitting model? Okay, uh, I just basically went and I took all of this information and I put it in tabulated form for you to make it easier. So this is kind of what the um, results then show us. So take a moment and run with this, run through this with me. We look at SRMR first. Both of them meet the criteria. So both of them are smaller than 0 0.8, right? But which one is the best? Which one is the smallest? That's right, model one. Let's look at RMC. Criteria says smaller than 0 0.8 um, with a confidence interval do not including zero. Both of them do not include zero. Both of them meet the criteria, although this one barely. Which one is better, one or two? That's right, number one. Oh, sorry, same with chi-square. Phi square is misfit, so it's 0 0.5, uh, 580 versus 800. Which one's the smallest? Now you saw it, you guessed it. Um, the next one, CLI and TFI. Now here's the first time that model two does not meet the criteria. Why? Because CFI and TLI needs to be bigger than 0 0.90. So here we can clearly see the, they do not, this does not fit the data, therefore we ignore it in totality. Then we look at AIC, BIC, and the adjusted BIC value, and we look at the one that's the smallest. So which one's the smallest here? 22330 or 22037? That's right. 22370 uh, versus 22652. First one again. And the same with the last one. So what does this tell us? Ladies and gentlemen, Model one seems to be our winner. And this one we can now go and transform into our structural model. Thank you for your time, ladies and gentlemen. And I really hope that uh, you learned something from this lecture. Have a great day.